Hey YouTube, Steven is Salon Guy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the haircut that every barber needs to or even wants to know how to do. So I've been getting a lot of eyeballs from the barber community, thanks to um, Chris Bazio especially. Um, shout out to you, bro, and uh, I'm really happy about that because you know it seems that you know just like hairstyles, uh, not all of us are great with clipper work, so we're always looking to barbers how to learn. And, and better our skills with clippers. And it seems like a lot of barbers are coming to hairstylists to try to improve on their scissor work and things like that. So today I'm going to be doing a video which hopefully will help all you barbers out there. And I think it's like the one haircut that every barber, you know, fears. And you know, it's something like this. When they see long hair, they're like, oh my God, what do I do? Or some guy brings in a photo, he's like, yeah, I want like a longer haircut or some sort of like, you know, something a little more edgy. It's just like, what do you do? Now, this was actually a haircut that I did when Bazio was actually here in my studio. I did this in like 15 minutes, I did it dry. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is a, a much shorter version of this and creating like a nice sharp outline and that sweeping motion. I'm gonna go over layers. Um, we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna try to simplify this as best I can. So hopefully this is gonna help every single barber like that's watching. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. All right, and here are my weapons of choice for this haircut. I have two different length shears. I have thinning shears for any texturizing when it's dry and also a razor, my hair cutting comb, water, and my 25 spray as a cutting lotion. As you can see, we're starting with a wet head. Uh, not all barbers have the opportunity to you know, wash someone's hair, but I do highly suggest wetting the hair down, even if, if it's with a spray bottle, and always, always, always have a towel handy because you never know if you need to you know, wipe off the client's face or clean off the hair off your hands or whatever. I always like to have uh, a towel. So basically, what we're going to do is create the base outline, which essentially is the length. So when you think of the base, that is the length haircut. Now, depending on how the client wears their hair really depends on how we're going to cut this. So what I want to do is when I cut this right down the middle, and basically if you use the tip, the point of your comb right here, and I'm really short, unfortunately, so <laughs> you have to stand on top uh, or over the client's the top of the head and just comb it straight back and create a line for the most part right down the middle and then what you're going to do is you're going to create the division point which separates the front and the back and that's usually found where the top of the the head is and also in the right behind the ear area the best way to find out where the top of the head is is basically lay down a comb you know flat on top of the head like this and it'll basically tell you where the the, the top of the head where it's most flat. So you just adjust it to where it's laying perfectly flat like that. So it's somewhere actually right in here, which was where I did it anyway. So, uh, and also another quick tip is if you're looking for any partings on the hair, if you comb the hair straight down and you just kind of go like this, you push up, the hair is gonna wanna split and kind of tell you where it needs to part anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create the division point, which again, separates the front and the back. All it is, is so that you guys can see where the clear picture is of where you're cutting, because you do want to make sure that you are separating the front and the back. Now, I'm not using any clips. Uh, you can use clips if you want, just to kind of push the hair out of the way. Totally, totally up to you guys. I don't use clips just because I can breeze through this fa fairly quickly and learn how to comb hair, learn how to manipulate hair. That's one thing that's really, really important. So I'm gonna spray some of my 25 spray in, and this is acting as a cutting lotion, which is gonna keep the hair nice and, and damp, but also it's gonna coat the hair, so it's almost like putting hand lotion on your hands. It gives it a really, really nice coating, and it allows for the hair to really, really be smooth when cutting. All right, so now what we're going to do is establish our base. So as I mentioned, you know we're gonna create kind of like the layered sweeping type look, and I wanna, I wanna bring this to about right here. And when creating the base, you have to picture how long this is going to be. So if the front here is going to sweep over here, you wanna make sure that you're painting a picture and angling this down so it's gonna look very, very natural. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this how I'm gonna cut it, you know, the way that I do it. And it's really, really up to you guys. Um, you know, you can go in horizontally this way, take a slice of hair, comb it straight down and cut straight across like this, or you can actually, you know, right, part it right down the middle, push this hair aside and start right down the middle. 
You know, I think if it's for more beginner stuff, you know, I think going down right down the middle would probably be easier. And I can actually cut this with no hand. So when you're cutting one length, what you wanna do is literally, again, position your hands in and we're gonna cut straight across. All right, that's one piece right there. Next section, we're gonna take it straight down. Again, I'm using no tension whatsoever. And we're gonna cut straight across. All right, and the last section right here, again, you can do this on both sides if you want, but since we're trying to kind of work a little more efficiently, we can do this all in one shot right here. And then we're gonna work over to the other side. So what I'm doing is literally I'm establishing my length, and if you wanna get used to working quickly, really get used to the idea of working with no clips and working with just your hands, like this. Being able, again, to manipulate hair. If you wanna get this done really, really quickly, see what I'm doing? I'm literally combing and cutting. Combing straight down, locking it in, and cutting it straight across. Same thing, last section right here. And, and, and if there's anything that you need to do to kind of go back in and you know reshape or recut, that's fine. But since, since you guys have you know, limited time with clients, you guys want to get the fastest haircut possible. So now that the base is done, as you can see here, we established a pretty decent one length base. What you can do is go back in and literally use your comb and cut straight across to make this even more even. I always like to joke where they call me even Steven, but um, unfortunately most of the time it's uneven Steven. <laughs> All right, so now we have the back right in through here. I know you guys are secretly laughing at that joke. It's one of my classic jokes. So now what we have to do is we have to connect this into this. Now again, we haven't established the front length or the side length, but what I'm going to do is stand pretty much right in front of where I'm cutting and we're gonna continue this line. Remember, it's all about continuing the shape. So what we're gonna do here is right when the hair in the front here, usually in this area, starts to you know, not come straight down anymore, it starts to wanna to come this way, that's when you like to start the angle. If you start the angle way before that point, like up here, you're gonna basically chomp off so much of this hair and you're gonna lose a lot of that length. So now, is where we can start the angle. So push this out of the way, and we're gonna cut straight down this way. And here is where we can actually angle our fingers upward. So our fingers right here really determine where the hair is going to live as far as that, that layer, okay, or that angle. And since we're coming right down the middle, let's cut this more on a straight line like this but as you can see, look, I create, you could literally have someone walk out of the barbershop off of this haircut right here. Because what you've done is you've established the base, all right? You've established the base, you've created a nice layered shape right here, and as you can see, this works all the way down. Now, don't think of this as, oh, this is just something you're gonna skimp out on and rush through. A solid foundation is literally the most important thing you can do in any haircut. Trust me, on men and women. So now this side, same thing. Here we go. And now I'm going to cut basically all one length here. And then now is when I'm gonna to start to actually angle my fingers upwards. Now, again, if you notice now my finger positioning is pointing down, wherever your fingers point is how you're gonna create that shape. Just keep that in mind, okay? So the more you angle your fingers downwards, the steeper the shape and the more of an angle you can get. So now we're gonna work right up towards the front here. And remember, this is where we left off on the last one. So there's our piece from the other side. We're gonna cut this, and now we have our, our base, okay? We have our base shape right in through here. And what I'm going to do now is bring all this forward and make sure that we are even Steven. <laughs> And you can even think of that too. Even Steven is the way to go. And the best way to do it is don't be afraid to stand you know, in front of your client. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. So I'm basically standing right in through here and when I'm cutting, you know, now obviously you have the client's legs right in front of you, but anything you can do to stand 
in front of where you're cutting, the better. So now what I'm doing is I'm literally going back over everything. I'm bringing all the hair forward this way and I'm just cross checking, not even cross checking, just going over everything, you know, cause uh, you want to just make sure that the balance is right for the haircuts. And again, I'm combing all this forward here and now we're done with the base. So now we're ready to work into the layered part. All right, now for the layered shape, what we're gonna do is we're going to establish our first layer, okay? Now remember, we have the length in through here and then we have this. So when you hold this straight up, you see that there's a significant difference in length, okay? What you need to understand when you're layering is you have to connect this with this. These two have to meet somehow, all right? And you can't just take this and cut it straight off because that's gonna create a disaster. So what you wanna do is you wanna visually decide where you're going to cut your first section. So I'll take a horizontal section right down the middle this way. Let's turn ahead so you can see. I'm gonna go right on the top back portion of the head, right through here. I just wanna show you guys, this is where the, the section is. Let's spin this back around. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this straight up, all right? So I'm gonna hold this straight up, and depending on where I'm going to put my layers will depend on how short I'm gonna cut this. Again, the shorter you, you cut this hair, remember, that's where it's gonna fall. So if you cut this this short, it's gonna fall right here. So you're gonna have a really, really strong ledge and have a lot of layering to do. So you wanna make sure you keep everything balanced and proportionate. So let's cut this to where we're cutting probably, I'd say an inch off in length, all right? And that's our first section. That is our first section. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece right here that we just cut. We're gonna push that one, se one side of one panel of the head away. And now we're in the left back panel of the head. And this is gonna be very, very simple. We're gonna comb it straight up. I can see my guide from underneath that I cut before. And there is my way of connecting the layers in the back. So let's go in super speed mode, okay? Comb it up. Everything is in proportion, which where I'm standing right behind the section, my elbows are locked in like this, and now we're done, bam. Time to work on the other panel. Again, this is about working very efficiently, and this is a foolproof method of how to create layers. There it is. Hold on to that piece. You never wanna let this go, all right? You always wanna keep that section. So be very, very familiar with working with your hands. That's one key thing with, bar with cutting in general. You wanna make sure your hands are working in sync with everything else. So now let's raise this up. Now we have our section and our layering right into this panel, and now it's time to connect everything. All right, so remember, we're not trying to create a you know, flowing out shape like this. What we're really trying to do is create a nice, simple layered haircut. And I'm following 90 degrees out from the head. And as we get to the bottom here, I'm pulling everything out. That's your length right there. You wanna make sure you're cutting everything on top of the length. Now with bod positioning, I don't suggest really, really reaching over deep like this because you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> Trust me, if any of you guys have a bad back, I don't suggest doing this. So what we do is a method called palm to palm, which basically you comb everything out. The fingers, the palms are, are facing each other when cutting, and that allows you to kind of keep more of an upright position, and then also allows you to get in a little bit closer towards the nape area. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull everything straight out from the head, and we're gonna cut the entire back of the head this way. Again, I'm holding on to that piece, not letting go. Very, very crucial, you do not wanna let that piece go. And we're going to go as far down as we can to where we start to feel our body is kinda of going, uh-uh. <laughs> and then we'll do palm to palm like this. Again, if you notice, I'm not sectioning the hair at all. Uh, I'm not using any, I mean, I'm not using any clips to section. I'm really trying to breeze through this as quickly as I can and as, you know, as barbers, I know you guys are working, you know, more efficiently and you only have limited time with your clients. So that's why I'm trying to show you guys how you can actually do this haircut in pretty much record time. Now, 
Mind you, this doesn't include, yes, I'm talking to you, but if you're talking with a client or, you know, you're, 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 hang, you're talking, you're having fun, you're BSing about whatever, add about 15 minutes onto this haircut. <laughs> so I would say you need, I would say half an hour, the most, if you can book for something like this, just because, you know, you want to take your time, you want it to be good. Uh, if you don't talk at all, <laughs> unlike me, <laughs> Uh, motor, I'm motor mouth over here. If you don't talk, then you'll be able to breeze through this. But I'm basically talking just because I don't wanna have dead space <laughs> and I wanna teach you guys. So here we are in the corner right here. You, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna pull this all out this way and cut. You're then gonna get a hole in through here. You wanna maintain the length down and through here. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull an over direct back. Over direction means basically you're pulling away from the starting point of where the hair grows from. So you're pulling it back to you, and what's gonna happen is that's gonna actually maintain some of the weight, and it's also gonna maintain some of the length into here, which you can then remove when you're on that section. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna comb straight out from the head, and you're gonna be able to see your guide from underneath. And the guide's going to be your main point of reference, obviously. That's what the guide is. You never want to get lost in the haircut, okay? Anyone who's listening and watching this, please don't be intimidated, but you don't want to get lost in the haircut. If you do, go back right down to the middle because that is where you started. So if you get lost in the haircut, don't start cutting stuff you don't feel comfortable cutting because you can actually create a disaster <laughs> when cutting, all right? You don't want to create any disasters, especially with a haircut like this, trust me. All right, same thing. Now, I'm going to now use the top, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut on the top layer of the, uh, of the hair, I'm gonna comb it this way, because I'm pushing away now this way, All right? I'm pushing away from me, and that will preserve and maintain some of that length as well. So now we're in that division point area. Again, let's bring you more, there we go. Center, I'm combing away, and there, we have it all the way down here in the lower half, pushing away from me, as you can see, remember maintaining that weight right in through here, keeping within behind the ear area. You want to make sure you're, you're doing that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross check this in a diagonal vertical way. And how I do that is I'm going to push this hair out of the way and I'm going to actually come in on an angle like this. Now remember, we haven't cut the sides yet as far as the layers or the corners or the top. We did the back, but not the top. So I'm literally combing everything out from the head on an angle going diagonally and vertically, which is going to allow me to see when you, this is a really, really key point and, and a good tip. When you comb the hair, the opposite way of how you cut it, that is when everything is going to jump out at you. That is when you're gonna really, really see any sorts of mistakes or any errors or anything that's happened. That is a key tip right there. That's why I'm cross-checking the opposite way of how I cut it. Comb it straight out from the head. And again, thankfully, there's really not a lot that I'm cutting, which is good. And But even if it's just like little, little hairs, you wanna make sure that you're getting those. You don't wanna skimp over any of those little hairs because that can actually affect, that's the, that's the difference between a mediocre to okay haircut, and that's, a, that's the difference between a haircut that is gonna look phenomenal for like a month and a half down the road. So I'm gonna to continue to do this throughout the entire back, and then we'll start to go over the top part of the head. I just want to show you all uh, what we're looking at right here as far as the way the hair is flowing. Again, I'm cutting wet into dry, but as you can see, you know, it has a really, really good flow to it. And any way you blow dry it, or any way you move the hair, it's going to lay nicely. All right, so now what I want to do is we're going to now connect the top part. Remember, we cut our first section straight here in the back. What we want to do is we want to connect the back into the front or the top. And how we do that is not by taking another section straight up, but we take a 
section going vertically, as you can see right here, that's what we need to cut. And you wanna keep the elbow level and we're gonna cut straight across. And that is how I connect going from the back to the top because a lot of times people may take one horizontal section and then they'll cut a new guide. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna actually end up creating a whole other layer. And that's where you're gonna get like a ledge and you don't wanna do that. So the best way to do it is to let that hair drop out because you cut that already and comb it straight up from the head and cut it. That's gonna be your best method of connecting. So now, that we have done that, we can then work towards the front. So now we can, we're done with the back. We have our new guide, which is now on the top, the actual top of the head. So what we can do is comb this straight across horizontal section, going straight up from the head, and we're gonna work in a panel just like this, going all the way forward on both sides. So right down the middle. Think of it, we're going right down the middle, and if you're playing, if you're, if you guys are golfers, just think we're going right down the middle. <laughs> so this is the best, most comfortable position you can actually be in is straight behind where you're cutting and combing everything straight up. Literally, there's no sort of issues with, you know, having to put your body in an awkward position. You're literally in a perfect position right here. And what's going to happen is as we are getting closer to the front, you're gonna notice that there's not a lot of hair that we're cutting because remember, that's the base. And that means, this is the money, money part right here, is that everything is connected, all right? Everything is connected. So now we're long from done. We're done with the top, but you've got the corners and then you've got the bottom, the sides, the actual sides. So to cut the corners, the corners are where everything grows straight out from the head this way, okay? So the corners are right here, and that's what connects the sides to the top. That's kind of like the gateway. So think about that. You know, I like to comb everything straight out from the head and follow the head shape, just because I've noticed that that grows out the best way. Again, depending on the type of haircut or the type of head shape, it really depends. Um, but I like to do this just because I think it has the best results and it grows out the best too. If you cut this you know, too square or, or, or the shape is off, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to look really, really off as it grows. And me personally, I don't want my, my clients looking bad at any point. So I cut the hair to actually grow out from the head. So the corner is done, and now it's time for the very, very sides. So same thing, now the sides are anything in this panel down through here. We're gonna comb it straight out from the head. There's the length. There's the length right there in the very bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut everything on top of that part. And that really is just gonna seal the deal. That is what is going to allow the hair to move a lot better in the very bottom. And that's what's gonna have that, that flow. That's what's really, really gonna help the whole haircut. So here I'm coming a little more over the top this way and cutting. So we're gonna comb everything straight down we're just gonna check to make sure it's all balanced. There's no holes, there's nothing. So we are good to go. And if you want, you know, again, go back in, pull everything straight out and just do one more. You know, if you wanna do a cross check, you can. And good, we're done on this side. So now the other side, what you wanna do is you want to stand in a position where you're basically, again, facing them this way. All right, their face is now towards you. And instead of coming over the top, what we're doing is we're literally staying in the same spot we were before. So we're not hurting our back. And you're basically, you don't wanna be obviously on top of the client, but what you're doing is you're just standing in a, in a spot where you can have room to stand, let the client's legs you know, hang freely, and then you can cut without a problem. So now time for the sides here. And there we go, as you can see. If you keep this pattern, and I know guys, I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot. I'm really, really talking a lot. <laughs> I'm either putting half of you to sleep or you guys are cutting and watching, but uh, I just want to break this down and be extremely thorough with you 
And as you can see, I'm doing this all in pretty much one shot. You know, there's no gimmicks here. There's no, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just simplifying this to help you guys be a lot more efficient. And then the last section, right here in the very front, and we're gonna comb it straight out. And there we go. So let's connect this side over here as well. And let's make sure that everything is well connected throughout the very, very bottom. All of these little pieces right in through here need to be, need to be cut. You know, you don't wanna leave, leave no hair behind. You know what I mean? <laughs> All hairs matter in this one. So, there we go, we're done. Now, a quick method of how to check this real quick. This is gonna be a lifesaver for you guys, especially when you're, when you're working and you don't have much time and you have you know, a bunch of people lined up ready to go. If you comb this, let's go this way. If you comb this straight up, there's the front and here's where we're gonna connect everything. This is just going right down the middle to make sure that everything is blended perfectly together. So comb it back, push the hair out of the way, take it out from the head, and there we go. Now the hair in the front doesn't grow straight up from the head this way. Most of the times it grows out from the head in the front. So we just wanna make sure that we're following the head shape and that we're good to go. So you do this, this is a quick, efficient way to make sure that, you know, another method of checking the haircut, just to make sure everything is balanced. Okay, we're good there. And do the same thing on the other side. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blow dry it and we'll be good to go. All right guys, so basically for the blow dry, you can do this in a, in a variety of different ways. You can actually use a, a brush, like a sculpting brush. This is a 413 sculpting brush from Paul Mitchell. And you can actually just blow dry and sweep the hair. Anytime you're blow drying with a brush, you wanna make sure that the brush and the dryer, the nozzle are working together in sync. You, know, you don't wanna blow the hair like this and the brush is all over here. It's gonna create a big rat's nest and a bunch of knots. So you wanna make sure that everything is working in sync. And as you can see, just by how I'm combing the hair, everything is flowing in much nicer. So let's blow dry this and then we'll see how it looks when we're done. Now I know you're probably saying to yourself, who the heck wants to wear their hair in their eyes like this? But trust me, I've done loads and loads of anywhere from 12 to 15 or 16 year olds that wanted this haircut for like a year and a half straight. Um, the good thing is, is that the way you, we cut this, you can sweep the hair over both ways like this if you want. You can really sweep this thing all the way over because a lot of times the individual will literally flip their hair, you know, kind of like the hair flip like this and they want the hair to kind of flip around so they can, you know, kind of wear it and sweep it all over this way. I'm sure you've seen this a million times. Um, but another variation of this is literally if you want to rake it down the middle like this and kind of wear it how, almost how we cut it. And then, you, and then you can just have the hair flow back into the layered shape like this, you know? So it's kind of like a more of a somewhat traditional medium length um, layered haircut for a guy, you know? Um, I just wanna really break down this haircut so you guys can really understand the whole shaping of it all, you know? Now, let's go over one last thing when it comes to like texturizing. Is it me or this haircut looks like Bruce Jenner right now? I don't know. <laughs> but um, I think I wanna show you guys what we can do as far as texturizing. So I'm using my thinning shears in here and I'm just gonna lift the hair and cut as I'm um, working in. So we're gonna lift and we're gonna let the hair fall into, you know, where it's gonna feel where the hair is the heaviest and that's where you wanna kind of cut. Um, you don't wanna go too close to the scalp at all, but what this is doing is just alleviating some weight and adding some added texture. All right, that's the great thing about feel. You know, you have to really, like I mentioned before, get really comfortable with how the hair feels and molding the head, molding the hair. That's really, really gonna be your best method when it comes to hair cutting. All right, so now we've got that and we're starting to get a little more of a flowing shape into here. Uh, last thing is if you wanna use a razor, this is another great way to actually remove any weight. You take it straight down, I'm not gonna use a comb. And you basically wanna lay the razor flat and I can go like this for six hours and no hair will come off. But what you wanna do is you lightly start to turn the razor in like this 
and there you can see the hair that's coming off right into here. All right, there we go. And that's the best way to kind of remove any weight is literally comb the hair, use your hands, and just slide off the, the top layer of the hair. And that really is what helps when it comes to cutting. Again, if it feels heavy in an area, then it probably is. And you can then go in and remove that weight. All right, so here's the true, not like any human head can do this, but if you, you know, let's just take this up to down, you can see the shape right into here, how nicely it flows in. That's really the true test is if you can look at a haircut this way and see how nicely it's all kind of flowed in, you know? And then we can flip the hair around and then they can flip it however they want. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and let me know in the comments below if this helped you at all and if you wanna connect with me and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salonga.